Hi guys, this is Natalia from The Love Imagination and today I have something that I promised to show you. Uh, Shimon is with me. Hi. He will be helping me with showing you guys the details and with the description of the whole uh, thing. So let's get started. So what do we have here, Shimon? We have uh, a big table with a camera which you can use to play, just, you know. It's, uh, it's size of uh, two playing boards, mm -hmm. two Warhammer, so it gives you really big surface to play. Okay, and it's not just uh, like normal uh, table because it's divided uh, with eight pieces? Yeah, it's divided for eight pieces. Uh, as you can see here uh, is a blocker, mm -hmm. which enables us to remove it. So if you unlock him, see. Okay. It's and the magic pieces. happens. Yeah. So actually, you can put it in your luggage. Yeah, you come back and take with you. You can take it to the lunchbox and you know, you go to the vacations. For a convention, if you have a big suitcase, you can. <laughs> of course, no problem. Uh, okay. Every piece of this table is, uh, is ready to transport in every moment, you know. It's many of removable objects here. Mm -hmm. Okay. And some of them are magnetized, right? Like this one. Yeah, this, this two. two. Actually, the whole like wall. Yeah, the wall. The whole wall is removable. Removable. Okay. Like uh, you thought it through for like a whole year. Yeah, I started making it uh, one year ago. <laughs> and actually, you can see it from like the point of playing and uh, transporting because uh, from the very beginning it was made to be transported uh, for our clients and the whole thing is like detachable, removable, uh, magnetized and it's like magic actually we are working over here Whoa, 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 and actually the door is magnetized too. Yeah. And if you look here, mm -hmm. you have a great statue of San Minos on the bloody fountain. Wait, wait a sec. Whoa. Is it removable? Yeah. Can you Almost. show us? The wall fountain and every model in here is removable. Wow. And the blood all over the fountain. Yummy. It looks like boiling blood, actually. And what do it's we have here? <laughs> what do we have here? Here we have a huge landing pad. Mm -hmm. And we have a model right here. Actually, all these models are for uh, the same client that... Uh, yeah, it's his army. Yes, it's his army. It's made specially for the diorama. Uh, yeah, and this is the landing place. Landing place with uh, so many moving things. <laughs> <laughs> They are all magnetized. It's so amazing, yeah. actually. Like, it requires so much work and so much. Now it looks thought. so easy, right? Yeah, it looks easy. You just easy. can take everything from here and look, I have it. <laughs> and put it back just like that and you don't have to worry about it. Yeah, but actually, it was. Even uh, these huge through. things. Okay, and we have two of them. This is another one. 
Okay. And here, the biggest element on the table. Roll. Just a big dollhouse. <laughs> Look what's inside. It's statue of the emperor. Wow. And it's cleaning servitor. <laughs> Actually, it is cleaning. Like, can you see? Can you see he's swiping the floor? It, it's called karma, you know? Yeah. You just do something really bad and I'll be happy to clean it. And okay. little fancy thing here is that we have uh, some LEDs here. Whoa! Um, and? Because we made uh, some glass in the windows. Something like In Polish we call it vitraż and I don't yeah. know what it's called like in English, but it's colored glass. Oh, and it's shining through. Like, it's not like very visible on camera, but especially when you turn off the lights, it will be so magical. It's still something really fancy. Yeah. And the cathedral is still not in one piece, you know, you just can remove so many parts from here to transport, like this little one. <laughs> like these two towers from here are removable too, and the second floor is removable too. So I was Whoa. thinking of everything. And yeah, it is a dollhouse. Yeah. Whoa, 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 there whoa. Is Look at this. Look at this. More things inside. Yeah, the stairs. It's all like playable. You can put the minis inside and these towers are removable too. Yeah. Piece by piece would be the easiest way. But it's so satisfying. Yes. When we put it together. Actually, when we started doing this, uh, actually when Shimon started doing this, yeah, it was like uh, we, as a whole team, couldn't see it. Like we just saw the big table with some glue and and it was very loud inside the room but now when you look at the whole piece it's just amazing actually it's there are, it. yeah it was and actually there are these little uh, how do we call it elevators elevators yay thank you and, and they, are, they working. are working. Why isn't it working though? I don't you know. can put your model on every height you want. Yes. And it's working. And it's working. It's it's able to like remain in the place even with the miniature on. And yeah, there are lots of minis that our client ordered including this big awesome thunderhawk it's from a forge world so it was a it's really huge and really heavy yeah and it's always a, a thing to assemble this one because there are always some problems with sculpture, but just a little. <laughs> just a little. Uh, but yeah, just look at the whole thing. All of them are going for a war, and also there are. A lot of these rocks made for this diorama 
only a few of them are put on the table but they are made to uh, make the game more fun because you can always like remove them, change their place, change the quantity and yeah it will be a different game every time you start it's awesome would play if you could I can't wait to see our client that will be playing it look at those three hands three of them yes was it yes. worth it? yes, totally worth it <laughs> it was hard but it was totally worth it yeah, I think so too Okay, so now without Shimon, I wanted to show you guys so some close-ups of the miniatures as well as the whole diorama. Of course, you're gonna be able to look at it on our gallery as well as our social media. We're gonna upload some of the uh, photos as well as some videos, shorts as well. But there are few things that I wanted to put your attention to because there are some little things that make this project really special and one of those things are little bits that are hidden within the sands as you may already know these are Tyranny's backpacks and weapons because this is one of those tribes that go to fight with blood angels the most okay so the whole commission is painted very similar the miniatures are painted with almost the same color scheme of course some units differ from each other because yeah, like regular blood angels are red but some models need to be golden look at this little shoulder strike like it's three handed of course and the miniature is metal, made from metal, so it's heavy and it was difficult to paint we have few kinds of power, power weapons on this commission most of them are blue and green this one is blue and we have power sword over here and it's green we have some decals This one is very big, actually. I love this model. Okay, but what I want to show you guys the most are those free hands. They are amazing. 
I mean, I already saw them multiple, multiple times and they are still make me wanna steal them from this diorama. I really like them. This is the second one, this is the biggest freehand on this commission. It's very pretty. It's so clean. And the third one is here. It's also very pretty. I envy a client <laughs> for having those. Okay. All of the wall has like those scratches all over. It's weathering effect, of course. And if you look closely to those figures, the statues actual, actually, you're gonna see they are made from marble. I mean, they are painted like they are made from marble, but it looks so real. Some more weathering. There are also like those little bullet marks on the wall, on the fence of the wall. So it looks more realistic. And of course this is the first part of the diorama. But there is also things that are behind the wall. And Let's start from the left. I wanted to show you the color of the globe because on some pictures on, or on some movies, <laughs> videos, uh, it won't be visible that much, but here I think it's visible for you guys. And I wanted to show you like the diversity of the color of the globe it goes from the green oh, in here to the yellow in here and the red and orange in the shadows and for me it looks just amazing the first time I saw this I was amazed and there is also the second one in here and you can even see the pinkish shades in the highlights so yeah it's great and what is more is the color of these pipes it's like heated color of the metal but it's also like a rainbow kind of Thing. Like, you know, when you uh, make a metal very, very heated, it turns to this kind of color. And I love it. Okay, next things are those little bits and the floor of the cathedral. There are those little little bits of books around the cathedral for <clears throat> our army to read on their shifts. There is some more and actually look at the floor because I just love it. I love how it turned out. It's like marble kind of the floor, but it's most of it is free-handed, 
not all of this, but it's mostly freehanded. Of course, this little freehand on this book is also unbelievable. And here is another bit of special Easter egg for our client. Okay, this little one is also very, very nice. Okay, the purple metal in here. It stands out because it's one of the <coughs> few things on this commission that are purple. Like when you look at this, it's all like blue and red. Of course, these are blood angels, but shoe and it's purple. I love it because it's it's not like the most important important thing on the diorama, but it still stands out. I love it. Okay, and now my favorite thing which is the statue of Sanguinius. Actually, I, I love it. I just love it. Look at the boiling blood in the fountain. The marble effect on the whole thing is just amazing. I love it. I love it. And the bloody gold on the wings. Just amazing. Also these little ones <coughs> beneath the sanguineous statue. They are also very nice. And this blood spatter behind every single statue, like even without the statues, it, it does look good. Okay, some more of the power weapons. Personally, The statue of the Emperor. Because just look how graceful he looks like. Of course, it's all golden. See, I think he looks better than now. On this statue, but yeah, all, he, all his glory is visible, and its place is in the cathedral, of course. <coughs> it looks nice with those colored glass. Actually, it looks good on photos. I may be putting the photo in here <coughs> for you to see and <coughs> there is more the marble floor on the whole background of the diorama is what I wanted to show you guys too because like 
it's all like small things that makes this, make this diorama incredible like this little purple this glass color glass the floor made of marble the like checked floor on the cathedral like magnetized bits on every single part of this diorama the color of the globes and of the pipes and even the place to land for uh, for the planes and for vehicles uh, the magnetized gate these three free hands we showed you guys on the very beginning these little wires and a pipe and these lights even the elevator these all these little things are made for the diorama to look even more fantastic so i think it's worth all the time we spent on making it i hope hope you guys like it as much as we do so yeah stay tuned for all the photos and videos that are coming See you!